Bulls won the most recent meeting, and they've won 10 in a row heading into this one. Dulce Fancomengiato and My My Joiner will jump it up, and we are underway. McNeil wasting no time, gets it in the paint, and then launches the outside jumper. Brito with a breakaway. Bulls have it blocked. And East Carolina with the basketball after a terrific defensive play. Actually, two terrific defensive plays, and Burrito doing a nice job with their hands in the air and trying to steal that one away, just couldn't finish. McNeil, no shot clock reset, a scramble for it. And again, East Carolina, the best scoring defense in the American Athletic Conference. They give up 53 points per game. Starting five for South Florida. This is the lineup Jose Fernandez has gone with all but a couple of games this year. Poises, Cheneke, and Fanka Mengiato all in the top five in the league in scoring. She's going to see the double teams. She's going to see the triple teams. Remaining calm and cool and finding an open teammate's always going to be key. Ariel Wilson with the basketball. Now Poises, her first shot is good. 26 footer is her home. Nice defense. Dulce Fanka Mengiato with the block. McNeil the second chance. And East Carolina runs it down in the corner. Micah Dennis will back it out. Pirates have missed their first four from the floor. Pirates head coach Kim McNeil telling us that offensive rebounds going to loom huge for and the Pirates tonight. There it is, but the follow no good for Micah Dennis, South Florida. Brito, what a Whoa. catch, and she drops it in. Cheneke almost got that too far down court for her. Joiner with a nifty pass inside. Morgan Mosley with Morgan the first Mosley. points for the Pirates. Cheneke gets stripped. Dennis has the steal in transition. Shot won't go, but the rebound blocked by Brito. And it is furious end-to-end -end action. Poises out away from the basket trying to dribble through traffic. And she draws the foul. Gather that ball in. No time at all to be able to put it on the floor, catch, and put it up immediately. Great athleticism there by Carlin. And here's Brito going to the hoop. Outscored 12 to 1 in the last six minutes as the Tigers kind of stole one from them last time out. Nifty scoop shot, sure. good for My My Joiner, one of the top freshmen in the league, averaging a double double in conference play. My My Joiner, nice little finger roll, local product. Coach McNeil, very proud. Some of the younger players on the squad staying home in the home state. Franca Mengiato with a good look to Poises in the corner. And Sammy's two for two behind the arc. Bulls 11-0 at home this year. Here's the breakout for Brito once again. And how about that lead-up pass, right? I'm just going to get out and run in the block and run down the lane. Just feed me the ball when I get to that point. Joiner denied by Fanka Mengiato. But she'll run down the rebound off the miss. And Joiner scores Joyner. with the right hand. She has been terrific. How about that? Four time freshman of the week. Six offensive rebounds already by the Pirates. And a stay close in this game. Nice job by Ariel Wilson protecting the perimeter, the defense. And Fanka Mengiato clears the rebound after the Pirates just beat the shot clock. Now Brito through traffic. Wow, how about that reverse? Carla Brito. There's a super story out in Forbes magazine today about Jose, how he's gotten to this point with the program and how his childhood kind of led to this direction and the road that he has taken to get here. If you have a chance, look it up and read it. It's a good story, nice piece. Here's Poises. Top of the circle this time. She's got three threes in the quarter. 
And again, keep in mind this East Carolina team, statistically best defensive team in the conference. South Florida's already got a 19 on the board. Nice looking shot from Brittany Franklin. You see the shot and the game clock there as time winds down in this first quarter. Wilson just able to keep that in the front court. And unfortunately, the anticipation there for the traveling violation. Final seconds of the quarter and a nice play by My My Joyner to end things in the first 10 minutes. Bulls got out to a 13-point lead, but East Carolina with a 4 to nothing. Brito gets a rest now. Daniela Gonzalez is in for South Florida. And Fanka Mengiato with the spin and the hoop. 11 points, South Florida lead. Bulls trying to get to 10 0 in conference play. Free throws coming up for McNeil. She's an outstanding free throw shooter at 84% shoots 60 percent as a team from the free throw line. Ariel Wilson through the double team. Gonzalez, the reigning American Athletic Conference Freshman of the Week. Coach McNeil and her staff have done a super job, Jim, rebuilding the program at East Carolina. When you think about all the Power Five schools that are in that state that they're working up against, and uh, she's, you know, the, the goal is to keep players home, change the thought process, and a nice feed. Sammy Puisis. The Bulls said, we don't want to be grinding this game out. We want to come out flying and set the tone and set the pace. Oh, uh, you see the quickness yeah. for Jayla Herp. And here's Puisis from the corner. That one rattles out. And Bulls thought they were getting that ball back. Three minutes into the second quarter. Micah Dennis looking inside. Now Herp's jumper over Asensio, and she's got two in a row. Inside it goes Gonzalez. Franca Mengiato, the rebound and the putback. She averages a double-double, and she's well on her way again tonight. That was quick. Uh, we came out of that timeout. The, the trio, top five scorers in the American. Megan Mangiato had zero points, and all of a sudden, out of that timeout, she quickly now has six. Sunia Johnson. Sunia Johnson. And the Bulls turn it over. Coming back the other way and laying it up, no good. But Williams is going to get the foul and Sania Johnson. You know, then again, we, we talked at the top of the show about how these two teams like to go after the ball and have great hands. That all kind of goes with the scrappiness a little bit that these two teams try to create. Bulls trying to get the offense reignited. They've been stuck on 28 for a while. Fanka Mengiato goes to work. But every time I see this young lady, and we and there's been a stretch here, we haven't seen her, that team goal that she has will flow out in other directions for awards for her for sure as the season progresses. Yeah, the problem is, Jim, they, they've had eight offensive rebounds. They've only turned it into two points. Janeke is still scoreless on the night, got a good long rest on the bench. And now she goes to work and picks up the assist as Brito drops it in. Danae McNeil, quiet offensively so far. 0 for 6 from the floor. That one breaks the streak. Periodically struggle against pressure, Leah. You think about the end of that Houston game in particular. Absolutely. You know, they allowed Houston three or four opportunities down the stretch to, to almost get back into the game and close it out. Two minutes to go, second quarter. Wilson got a hand on that pass, but McNeil fights through and gets the hoop. Cheneke, that won't go. And Fanka Mengiato again. And a timeout called for, I think, by East Carolina. One minute remaining in the half. Brito picks up the switch on McNeil. 
And Franca Mengiato, another rebound, but then knocked away by Bobby Smith. So East Carolina in control once again. Nice spin, and the shot rolls in for Bobby Smith, freshman guard, averaging three a game. Now the shot clock's turned off. Bulls can play for the final shot of the half, but instead they throw it out of bounds. Miscommunication between Cheneke and Wilson. Pirates will run a little clock here. Got to put it in motion now. Here's McNeil, open jumper, no good. Brito, the rebound, has enough time, launches it, and it's just off, no good. If you're East Carolina, how do you turn this thing around? They certainly made some strides at the end of the first half. We've got to be able to finish around the basket. They were getting the offensive opportunities before getting up on the glass, but not able to put it down, and, I, and both teams certainly need to take better care of the basketball. Double figure turnovers for both teams in the first half. And East Carolina running the shot clock down here on their first possession of the second half. McNeil. And that did not draw iron, so it'll be a shot clock violation. The other thing, too, is I think they got a little pooped out in that first two quarters of action with the pace that USF was trying to run it uh, to the point where Coach McNeil ended up calling a timeout. So. The pace, the faster it is, but control for the Bulls will favor them in the third and fourth quarters. Quesis is off with the three and whistles on the rebound. Bulls inbound. Same starting five in the second half for South Florida. Brito, Wilson, Franco Mengiato, Cheneke, and Quesis. And the Bulls turn it over. In transition, here comes McNeil. And East Carolina is back to within five. And Leah, here's that backcourt pressure again, really centering on the trap at midcourt. Bulls beat it this time. Micah Dennis. And now Joyner. McNeil into the paint. The runner is off. Offensive board and the putback by Joyner. Attacking the glass, wiping the glass, finishing on the second chance opportunity. Credit the Pirates in getting back here quickly and trying to match up. As Wilson checks out and Asensio comes in. Pirates hanging in here. Bulls have beaten East Carolina 10 straight times, but the momentum on the Pirates' side now. Morgan Mosley in the margin is three. Good job by the Pirates fighting those through those screens, creating some space and to get that shot off. Franca Mengiato can't get it to fall, but Brito there for the rebound. Poises. Boy, that's a big shot for South Florida. Poises was hot early has struggled since, but now she's got her fourth three of the evening. And East Carolina will drop back into the half-court offense. Joyner, top of the circle. And Franca Mengiato with her ninth rebound of the night. Bulls have led by as many as 14 points. But East Carolina keeping it close here in the third quarter. Cheneke cut off. Five to shoot. Brito waits for the screen, unloads, hits the three, and is fouled. A chance for a four-point play. Franca Mengiato gave her the screen to get her free. Things were falling apart a little bit for South Florida on the play, and Dulce Fanka Mengiato came out and set it for her, kind of give her a little bit of extra open space as the shot clock, perfect, perfect scenario to be able to see where the shot clock was at that point, but 3-2, Dulce Fanka Mengiato helping out her teammate 
to get the open shot just a little bit more, create the foul, and it's a four-point play. That's 16 for Bredo. East Carolina lucky that wasn't a turnover, but the air ball and Franco Mengiato clears to Asensio, trying to get it to Gonzalez off the foot of Micah Dennis. Asensio gets the return. But the hesitation was enough where the defender goes, oh, geez. She'll get one more. Under two minutes to go, third quarter. And a free run to the basket from Micah Dennis. Shot clock, single digits, Gonzalez. Can't connect, and the rebound taken by Kamora Jenkins. Dennis got tangled up with Fanka Mengiato. No whistle. Joiner going to work on Franca Mengiato, and she gets the hoop. Boy, Dulcie pushed her away from the basket, but still a great job to finish. Less than a minute to go, third quarter. Shot clock down to six. Fanka Mengiato finds Gonzalez for the hoop. And the whistle on the shot, 20 minutes per game in conference play and really playing well. Uh, and, and part of that, Jim, is being able to recognize the space on the floor. Chance to complete the three-point play here. And the Bulls will get another opportunity. Can't run it completely down. You see the difference between shot and game clock. Inside it goes on a nice pass from Asensio. Fanka Mengiato gets the foul on the second try. Her 10th point, and that's another double-double. That's not exactly a news bulletin for her. So that's a four-point trip down the floor for South Florida, thanks to the offensive rebound on the first missed free throw. Shot clock turned off. Bulls with a couple of seconds left. Asensio saw the clock, got it off in time, but can't connect. A late run for the Bulls. A good basketball coming up. Stretch drive of the conference season for both of these teams. It's crazy to think about. We're already talking March and conference championships. It's just so crunched right in the middle right now, obviously. The Bulls with some breathing room at the top. Quesis puts it on the floor. Baseline drive. you got to respect the three with her. And she just drove it right to the basket for an easy two. You step off of Sammy Puisa. She's going to sting you with that three. You try to step up against her and take away the three. And she's got that long first step. All right, we talked about the Pirates struggling from the line. But here are the Pirates tonight. Five out of six from the line, even with that miss. A lot of minutes in the second half for Asensio. To the corner, here's Puisis. Got the open look from Cheneke, and Sammy Puisis has her fifth three of the night. You sit in the zone, you're going to be challenged. They're giving it to Sammy Puisis in the corner, and Sammy has just stunned them. You see, seven for 19. For three-point land, Sammy with five of those for the Bulls. She's got 17 to lead all scorers. And very quietly and methodically, the Bulls have this out to a 16-point lead. Doesn't last long, though. There's My My Joiner with a three. Well, the same token, I think what has gotten kind of a little bit lost in this is McNeil tips that ball trying to come in on a backside block is... 
Banca Mengiato with a follow. The defense that the Bulls have played on 22 in black. Danae McNeil and how they've kept her below her average right now. She only has eight points. They've done a really good job trying to keep her away from the basket and being patient, not getting flustered with defensive hands. She now has nine points, but McNeil just three of 17 from the floor in this game. Bulls fight through the pressure. But one thing that pressure will do will get you deep in the shot clock before you really start running the offense. Quasis right there for three more. McNeil on the run. And a nice unselfish play as she finds Herp with a no-look pass. She's been on the floor a lot. And a chance from the free throw line here. And this now at 15 points is their biggest lead. So East Carolina with the ball again, but you got to see some urgency here as the clock approaches five minutes remaining. This will be a South Florida foul. We mentioned a four-time conference freshman of the week. And although she didn't get either one there, she's got a bright future in Greenville. She she does, and Coach McNeil is very excited. But Bulls fans are very excited right now with Sammy Puisis knocking down that big three. So there's her new career high, her seventh road trip to SMU. Next for South Florida, road trip to Orlando and UCF. Next for East Carolina. Everything that this program has become and uh, really a testament to the young ladies that he has brought into the program. The 11th 20 win season. There's that play off the defender's back, and this time it works. Cheneke with the easiest two she'll ever have. Crowd loves that one. Little wrinkle, you got to watch the wrinkles. Especially going down the stretch. Let's watch this out of bounds play again. You're not going to run it all the time, but the Cheneke realized, the defense realized, and I'm sure Coach Fernandez realized with how, how high the defense was right at the free throw line extended. That opened up that one time opportunity for Elena Cheneke to complete it. Cheneke with that hoop now with four points on the game and two of two from the free throw line for Johnson. Janeke to the glass. Bulls hoping to get the veteran guard back, possibly for the game at SMU. Joiner with strong work on the boards, but it's the Bulls that come out with a loose ball. And Brito on the run with a chance for a three-point play. Taking a big breath here to try to complete this three-point play. That one no good, but she's got 20 points on the night. Her and Poises have combined for 43. That's a scary part about this scout, right? The Bulls having other players. We talked about the three-headed monster coming into this game. And it was Poises and Brito who uh, really, as you said... So Brito right now is the only starter on the floor for South Florida. Joiner 0 for 4 from the line in this game. And coming up court, a foul called, and it might be an intentional it is. foul. Pirate it is. On number 23, it's on Joiner. That's her fourth foul. Bulls will win their 15th consecutive home game and go to 10 and 0 in the conference. And a lot of games left, and you don't want to say any lead is insurmountable because it certainly isn't. But boy, there's a pretty big gap right now between number one and number two in this league. 
Nice block by Williams who goes tumbling out of bounds. Hope she's okay. Bulls come up court with a four on five. She went over top of the chairs trying to keep this ball in play. She did. And help from one of the fans there trying to keep her from hitting too hard. Cheerleaders there as well to help. Johansson from three. And the rebound pulled down by Brittany One Franklin. Minute Final minute of the game. Alexia Rose with the ball. Now gets it off to Herp. And the rebound taken by Asensio. Here comes Williams. Johansson, boy, oh, good unselfish nice. ball movement there. And Johansson with the finishing touch for South Florida. Seventeen assists tonight for the Bulls on twenty-seven made hoops, and it's pretty when that extra pass is made. Free throws coming up. They're a plus eight in rebounding, and most importantly, up twenty-five on the scoreboard. Shot clock turned off. Bulls will get it into the front court. Jose Fernandez has the hands up, saying, let's just run clock. And the Bulls will play keep away for the final 10 seconds here. Asensio shot no good. And that's it. South Florida comes up with another conference victory, and Jose Fernandez wins game number 118 in the American...